come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. These are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela, although, Colin, I just saw your shirt. Oh, Colin's wearing a Dracula shirt. I How just saw appropriate. you wearing a Dracula yeah. shirt. Colin's wearing a Dracula shirt. Michaela, yeah. what did we pick tonight? <laughs> Bats. 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 Oh, I see what you did yeah. there. I don't see what you did there. Yeah. 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 Bats. From the year. 1999. 19, the 25th anniversary the of Bats. The 25th anniversary of Bats. Wow. Well, right. Turn of the millennium. Turn wow. Of the millennium. We all remember where we're we were all, in 1999. Right. <laughs> we were all afraid of Bats. Yeah. We all thought Y2K was coming yeah. to kill us all. We were not worried about Bats at that moment. No. 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 All right. Directed by. Louis. Louis. Morneau. Louis okay. Morneau. He's Maybe a sequel he, he king. He, 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 he is. He's a sequel king. How Carnosaur 2. Ca- that's what Carnosaur I was looking at. Carnosaur 2. I think I heard of Carnosaur uh, 2. Wait, what year was that? Like 97 or 95? 95. 95. Yep. Okay. Um, Soldier Boys, a yeah. movie named Retroactive, Made Men, Bats, and then The Hitcher 2, I've Been Waiting, from yep. 2003, which has me intrigued, because who didn't The Hitcher remake also come out in 2003? Right? It's, it feels like, so is that so a sequel? Weird. That's not the sequel to the remake, that's the sequel to uh, The Hitcher? Let's Ooh, see. that might be a sequel to the remake, Jake maybe. Busey is in this. Oh, boy. Jake and Busey C. Is. Thomas Howell. No, this is, see, if C. Thomas Howell's in it, it's Howell's a sequel Howell's to the original. The re- I didn't even yeah. know there was a Hitcher 2. Yes. Um, <laughs> Yep. Oh, no. Yep. And then <laughs> no. um, just some other Joyride, Joyride Two, two dead, dead Ahead, which I do okay. remember the first Joyride yeah. movie. But oh, yeah. Joyride's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Paul Walker and Paul yep. Walker, Steve Zahn, uh, yeah. Lely uh, Sob- Sobieski. Yeah. Lely Sobieski. It's got uh, what's his name from Silence of the Lambs. Um, yeah. Monk. Well, this has none of those yep. people on it. <laughs> uh, and his last movie in 2012 was Werewolf: The Beast Among Us. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. That was, that was that was the one that was supposed to be the sequel to the Wolfman. Yes, but then it it was a direct to video Universal mm-hmm. Monster uh, thing. Yeah, okay. Yes. So that was also Louis Morneau. Okay, we need Morneau. to talk about the writer. I think here is more okay, the so bigger part of this. Yeah, so John I'm Logan. Like, wait, okay, okay. So wait, I'm going to throw this out there because oh. is he did he do the Omen remake? No. Okay. Um, I'd buckle up because this is going to give you guys yeah. some emotional whiplash. So Bats is like his first major major motion picture, right? Okay. Um, at any given Sunday. Yes. Then really? Gladiator. Yes. Really? Yes. Then The Time Machine, Star Trek Nemesis, The Last uh, Samurai, The Aviator, yes. Sweeney Todd, wow. Red, Rango. I'm saying Rango. Hugo. Wow. Skyfall. Wow. Spectre. Penny Dreadful. He created the series. But the one thing I will never forgive him for, he wrote Alien Covenant. He did. This wow. Is, this is shocking I know. to me. He writes shit. But he is like he. It's is there more of a seesaw career than this man, the look, look. aviator, and then <laughs> an alien covenant, like hired by Scorsese. Yes, well, you go right. Yeah. Also- and I know necessarily just because you wrote something doesn't mean you you, you get to work with the director who right. eventually does right. stuff. But just Oliver Stone, Ridley Scott, uh, Sam Mendes, Sam Mendes, yeah. Martin Scorsese, Tim Burton. Gore Verbinski, yeah, uh, Ray Fiennes, uh, yeah, in a, in a in a movie that I've never heard of, uh, Cor- yeah, like Coriolanus or something, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, just wow. Well, yeah, I say I'm shocked bad. because I mean, I listened to the dialogue in this movie. It is very bad. It was very so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is very. All right, hold on. Okay, but to it be, was le- but to be you're, you're, so you're telling me there was a lot of. So you're telling me. Let me see yeah. if I get this straight. So you're telling me now yeah. if that line shows up in a movie. <sighs> the screenwriting is not. The yeah. Best. It's like, all right, let me get this straight. So you're telling me. So and then like, yes, yes. explaining who the person is by detailing their uh, job description. Yep. And yep. going into it's like, so you're it, a blah, 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 entomologist. They get, or not an entomologist. What is the study of bats? They, I couldn't it's, understand uh, what she was saying. Said, but it's, it I just can't get over the fact that, like, we all loved Skyfall. Yeah. We all yeah. hated Spectre, right? Yeah. We all died. I think we all landed on yeah. not liking Spectre. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, how is that the same person? Yeah. That, like, and that was back to back 
jobs for him. He did Skyfall and then didn't do anything else until Spectre for writing. Well, the wild thing is... Corrupt- like, you know- Corrupturology? Corrupturology. Corrupt- okay. C-H-I-R-O-P... T-E-R-O-L-A. That's the study of bats. Yeah. Study of bats. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we get we get detailed like explanations of that. Mm-hmm. Like, the thing about screenwriting that I always thought was because uh, didn't like Damon Lindelof or some who wrote the first Alien, uh, the, the Ridley Scott the sequel that Prometheus. He, um, yeah, I Lindelof think came they, in for Prometheus. And yeah, they took a that lot makes of a lot of sense. Stuff. And there was there was I was listening to like because I was fascinated by like the process on that movie, and it really was like Ridley Scott sat there and would come up with the ideas and give them to Lindelof, and Lindelof just basically went away and wrote the dialogue and tried to engineer like why someone would engineer. say this. <laughs> Did he write the "I'll do the fingering" line? Was that Lindelof? No, no, that's the, that's isn't that that's good? Logan. That's, John Logan. Right? Uh, John yeah. Logan and Calvin. Okay, so it's <laughs> yeah, this guy. It's this guy. Yeah. Okay. He wrote "I'll do the fingering." He, he wrote, I guess what fingering. I'm saying is it was an interesting uh, behind the scenes look into how writers and directors. Right, like sometimes right. there's yeah. a spec script right. or somebody's hired to write something, but mm-hmm. if there is a director attached, they may be sitting there telling you, like, I want it to go this way. No, I don't want it to go that way. Why don't you go do this? And then the writer goes off and fulfills the director's right. wish. Yeah. And so that's where I wonder if this guy works better in that scenario than he does. I'm assuming this was like his first spec yes. script yeah. that yep. he sold. And it's like, uh, okay, this is him writing without direction, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he tailored it for, you know, Louis Morneau, you know, as they were working together. Maybe. But man, yeah, the dialogue is <laughs> yeah. uh, is choice and, and, and bad. <laughs> Boy, and like, you have professionals in this movie. There's not nobody's in this movie. We have Lou Diamond Phillips, Dina Meyer, Leon... And I can't remember the other guy's name. Bob Gunton. Bob Gunton. From yes. uh, the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. He was the warden. <laughs> right. Actually, in many other movies. Uh, now that you've mentioned all these people. Yes. Oh, no. Um, Who we got on the wall? We're gonna, Dina we're gonna Meyer. Break, we're going to yep. break this out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah. Dina Meyer is on the wall. Uh, the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, where mm-hmm. you have to be in three movies, and then we send you a certificate. Mm-hmm. So we're going to yep. send one to Dina Meyer. What movies was she in to plant her on the wall? We, oh, I feel like there was another creature type movie, wasn't there? No. Damn. Dina Meyer is. Yeah, now, now everybody knows her from Starship Troopers, okay. but Starship she saw. was. We didn't. That wasn't. Uh, yeah, but they weren't on uh, the show. We no. have mm-hmm. covered Johnny Mnemonic. Oh, okay. okay. And we also covered ICU. Oh, that's right. The Sylvester I, I, Stallone the detox, Slasher yes. Detox. Yeah, okay. I like that one. I think she was his wife in the flashback. Okay. So okay. She, I think. Okay. Uh, Bob Gunton. Bob, Bob Gunton yeah. is, uh, he was in uh, Bats. Obviously, he's the, the doctor. You remember him from Demolition Man. <laughs> he was the chief of police. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, Broken Arrow. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hush! <laughs> John Travolta takes, a, I think, a flashlight, yes. slams it into his throat, and he's yeah. sitting there gurgling and dying. He goes, hush! Yep. Hush! Yep. Was, it's a, Broken it's a Arrow was moment. a fun time. It's a great moment. Uh, there are a couple other uh, folks in this. Uh, these are the hallway of fame. Okay. okay. Uh, one is Oscar Rowland, who is a doctor in Silent Night, Deadly Night. That movie keeps on coming wow. up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He was Homer Roberts in Berserker. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, Berserker. You thought that oh, movie was, was never- Was that one of the old dudes? <laughs> the old was dudes that were the having the, the the game or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. one of them was um Is Homer the sheriff? I think Homer was he might have been. But in this in this okay. he was Dr. Swanbeck. Dr. Swanbeck. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. I I just don't watched remember. the movie. Nope. I don't even know. Nope. And Ned Bellamy, who I believe um is the guy that we're talking about, uh, Sean, that was in Ed Wood. He played uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the chiropractor. He was in <laughs> Carnosaur and also in Con Air. He was a chopper uh, pilot. <laughs> he was gotcha. Major Reed. So gotcha. there you gotcha. go. Gotcha. Uh, welcome and congratulations mm-hmm. and thank you yes. for joining. We're glad Bats could get you there. Yeah. Yes. The check is in the mail. The, the certificate is in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know the tagline for Bats? Yes. Where do you hide when the dark is alive? Dun, dun, dun. That's pretty good. I like that's it. That's pretty good. I like yeah. it. You could use it for a couple things, but yep. it's good for bats. Mm-hmm. It is. It's not bad. It had a uh, interesting poster. I don't. Okay. Yeah. The <laughs> it's a good poster. Oh, I, I like see what poster, you're saying. But it, it when it flips, it it also flips the other way. Yeah. yeah it doesn't. Yeah. Do, it doesn't quite. He's work. talking about the logo treatment. It, it's yes. it's the word bats, but it's hung upside down. But it's backwards. But it's, but it's upside down and backwards yes. is the yes. problem. Yeah. And yeah. in the title sequence at the beginning of this, it's 
upside down and backwards, mm-hmm. and it just flips up to be regular, which mm-hmm. doesn't yeah, quite doesn't work, quite but whatever. I I'm getting nitpicky with, with title design yeah. and shit. But well, now that you just because f- they wanted stab on yeah. the poster, no, but they even used the when stab you flip font. The poster upside down, flip it. Uh, it says, but all right, yeah. Then it says bad. That's that's what it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I do this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that works. But this that was does why not they work. did it. Uh, yeah, but I understand what they wanted, and I might have gone with it had I been making this movie. But I'm just here to point it out. <laughs> so bats is a creature feature. It, is, it definitely a, feels like a throwback to like a fifties. It is a yeah. It is a nineteen fifties nuclear yes. monster attacking a town. Go nuts movie. Yeah, it, it reminded me of Kingdom of the Spiders a lot too. Kingdom which of the Spiders is the it reminds type. me of like kind of like the Blob a little bit. Yeah. Just with, yeah. And when we get to the town stuff of the townsfolk mm-hmm. running around freaking out, you always got a small town sheriff right. who's got to protect the, the town. Yes. Night of the Lepus. There's yep. always a sheriff. There's yep. always a little group of scientists. I uh, got a little Lake Placid from this mm-hmm. as well. That well, came that's in actually what I was going to ask. Like this is ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And it seems to me that there the were. Is always not, that's it's also, also ninety nine. Yeah, yeah it was, was in the water. What yeah. was eight legged freaks? Eight legged freaks was cl- all that's that's close. Two thousand maybe. But like there was something again in in the late nineties where the early two thousands where we revisited the yeah. ecological horror monster movie. Right. Two thousand two right. was eight legged freaks, okay. which has a very similar. Eight legged freaks was far more goofy, but. Yeah. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, around from like 1999 to maybe 2003, mm-hmm. we were hitting that stride. I think he's mm-hmm. all like um, coming down like, you know, I don't know. Is, I mean, in this while we were watching it, we were sitting there going like, well, that seems like a Jurassic Park riff. Mm, yeah. Like yeah, did yeah. Jurassic Park give birth to, I mean, obviously it went with, you know, there was the the 80, the 90s Godzilla and all that right. kind of stuff. But it did it also kind of bring the giant monster because we could do CGI. Yeah. You know. The well, yeah, we have Godzilla you '98 do. right before this yeah, too. So yeah, we're saying, definitely yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely feeling like the technology is catching up to what we wish we could do. And that's you know? why they're doing yep. these movies. It's mm-hmm. like yes, right. you've done them before, mm-hmm. but now, now we, we can have make better monsters. Yes, yeah, yeah because there was the movie Nightwing in '83, which was about a bunch of killer bats. Oh, so I got to look into that one. Nightwing yeah, I didn't know about that one. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Not a Batman movie. Not a, a DC Nightwing. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. It's a bat killer bats in the what is it in California or something like that. I can't remember mm-hmm. where it took place. I still haven't seen it. I confess. So <laughs> bats. Um, bats. Bats. There's. So the movie starts off with it's 1979 actually. Oh, 79. Wow. Yeah, oh, I yeah. bet they're like torturing real bats in that movie. Then I'm sure. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so in this one, they maybe that'll have to be a freak. You have to put it on a list somewhere yep. for yeah. Ooh, the poster. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. The See what we've we've talked about this though on our other creature episodes is that you know how in the 90s we went through a cultural resurgence of things in the 70s. That's oh, that poster. Post- I oh, What's I was gonna say that poster is amazing. Tag on here is in the dead of night they come swift, silent, savage. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And it is, uh, 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 she's getting her clothes the torn heat, off. There's a heating yes. bosom and bats are yep. attacking her. Yep. One does look like Batman. <laughs> but you know how in the 90s we had that resurgence of like a nostalgia for culture from the 70s? Yeah. And I think that included, and I think we've talked about this before, the creature movies of the 70s too also yeah. came back in the 90s. I love when things rhyme that way. Like every 20 years you can count on a resurgence of something from 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? And they figure yeah, out that's here's a new angle yeah. on it. Right. And they're, and they're always like, we haven't done this in a while. Right. Yeah. And then one person does it and they're mm-hmm. all like, well, that made money. Let's mm-hmm. let's do the monster movie. It does feel like creature feature movies are relatively can be relatively cheap to make if you do it right. Like, because wasn't Crawl like a relatively low budget movie too? Mm-hmm. I'm going to guess like 15 million. Yeah. Crawl and that was all like yeah. one location, you right. know, and that, and that was an yeah. effective I, but movie. But I think that's, yeah. you know, the, the, the more cost effect. That's how we do them now. Right. Because there was that like. I think, you know, you have uh, dwindling um, audiences, you know, to movies, and so they tried to make things more cost effective, and I think Blumhouse, you know, to their credit, paved the way for Hollywood to go, like, you know, if you keep these, you know, mm-hmm. confined to a single space, you can do, you know, uh, the same movie for a lot cheaper. Yeah. So this one, though, looks like that it still has that... Uh, that in this era of the mid in the late 90s like they are still spending money because you are going to have 
uh, crashes, explosions. So many explosions. So many explosions. Yeah. I, I, was, I did not expect that many explosions. Yeah, I guess TNT doesn't cost too much. Right. I, yeah, I, I guess I was what was the budget for this movie? Five million dollars. Which I, you said that, I was like, yeah. bullshit, because yeah. this looks far more and than... And it did I ten million. It was a 15 million dollar. Yeah. Well, it, Crawl it, is a 15 million dollar. Yeah. Yeah, so you're right, so I can... And that has, yeah. like, what, four people in the whole movie, too? Like, that yeah. is a very small movie uh, yeah. in scope, I guess. But yeah, and it did um, ten million at the box office and Lifetime DVD because I remember I'm sure everybody rem- mostly remembers this movie as being like something you saw at the video store shelf like you saw the artwork oh, yeah. but it's probably never actually seen it because that's how I'm familiar with it right and oh, I yeah, feel like bats. even disc replay right now probably has like three copies of this movie sitting there you know I, I think so yeah, yeah I've seen you it know? a couple times yeah. um but it made like 30 million over its like lifetime video TV spots and everything so it's extremely profitable so it's profitable movie. yeah yeah mm-hmm. um I mean I confess I remember it coming out I skipped it for whatever reason, and mm. even on video, I never saw this movie. So thank this was you. The first time watched for all of it. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember because this played on TV a lot, probably HBO. Did, I think I yeah. remember a uh, little bit of the town attack scene, mm-hmm. but that is all I've seen of this. Yeah. So yeah, it's been on my list for a while, especially because you just to me what all like whenever I hear people talk about this movie, they're like, oh, bats. They're like, oh yeah, the movie with Lou Diamond Phillips is usually the follow up <laughs> yeah. to that. Yeah. Because it's like what this and La Bamba. This right? Like, that's how I, I know him for. If, uh, yeah, if you ask yeah. me, name three Lou Diamond uh, Phillips movies, I name those two and be like, Young, yeah. Gun, Young Guns 1 and Young Guns 2 get yeah. you. Well, I don't know if I've seen either of the yeah. Young Guns. Oh, man. Well, all of it. Yeah. All, at least all of it. I have yeah. not seen that. No. But, yeah. I mean, Lou Diamond Phillips, he pops up. You I see love him. him. He, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've I never seen I've never form. not liked Lou Diamond Phillips. Wasn't exactly. he the host of the Twilight Zone for a while? Was he? Was he? No, no, sorry. He was in the pilot episode when UPN brought it back. Okay. Forrest Whitaker, Forrest was, the Whitaker host. was the host. Yeah. Lou Diamond Phillips was in the pilot yeah. episode. That's mm-hmm. right. Um, All right. So this is a movie called Bats. Yep. And there are creatures in this movie. They are bats. Mm-hmm. So you got to have an <laughs> So you got to. I'm just. Okay. I'm yep. stating the obvious to get to a point. No, that's yep. what the script is like, though. Right. Like, that's exactly what the <laughs> yeah. dialogue is like in this movie. So there's bats. Basically. So let's get a bat expert. <laughs> right. But so we got to get. Effects experts. Who mm-hmm. did the effects for this movie? Uh, that I didn't K&B see. K&B did, did the effects they? for this okay, movie. Okay, did you yeah. see that in the credits? Oh my yes, god, that's amazing. It did. So yeah. we have a K&B a effects surprise. movie, and the effects are awesome. Yep. I love the bats. <laughs> so many puppet bats. So many puppet bats. Okay, but that's specifically I what you're... I wanted them to yes. talk. Yeah. The puppet yeah. bats. There's yes. puppet bats. There's uh, a mix of real bats, animatronic puppet bats, and then c- bad CGI. The bad Very CGI. bad. So Some composite saying, yeah. shots that are They're really awful, rough. Yeah. But it's that era. I think <laughs> yeah. this it is. is still when they were I didn't were mind it too much out. considering it was offset by puppet bats. The, yeah. And the puppet bats had personality they and like do. emoted and I stuff. Like yeah, I, I'm into the puppet bats. Well, they had to because I guess my question is now that You've seen the movie. Were you able to follow that there were the two, two bats, two primary? Yes, yeah, the flying evil foxes. Bats. Because they two said, flying the, yeah, okay. the really big ones. They're way bigger yep. than all the, and they have the like really defined faces that we get close up. Yes, yep. they do. Okay. I think we could have done more in the end with them. Yeah, uh, specifically, maybe even like uh, <laughs> you guys ever seen the Ghost in the Darkness? Yeah. With the two lions. Yeah. Who That's been on my list to bring to the freak yeah. show. That's a, uh, it's pers- a good movie. Personally, it's, it's a good I think it's drama. A good, I think yeah. it's a really it's good really drama. Yeah. Show, yeah, so yeah. It's yeah. not action packed or anything, but it's a good drama. Yeah, because yeah. it's a lot of what you. The horror is in what you don't see. In right, that movie. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the fact that you get these, like. Uh, when it comes down to things like, mm-hmm. um, you know, eventually you kill one of them and the other one's pissed off because you yeah. kill its mate or mm-hmm. something like that. Or I think they could have done more to up the personality they, of them towards the end, but, you know. They should have just because they were experiment bats they should have just said they have a tag on their foot and that's how you can tell it's them so then we have Something. this visual yeah. cue to track them throughout the whole movie I know because I think that was a thing like I mean I'm sitting here and mm-hmm. we all got that mm-hmm. they were the two you know mm-hmm. but they, 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 um, the, the yeah. I think the movie like I don't know do you have to pay attention to get that there is the danger of Seeing all these puppet bats and the uh, the the two main ones and just thinking they're all the same because they yes. right. just, the movie doesn't it doesn't draw specific attention to right them, or doesn't like, yeah, right like or, or doesn't or doesn't like scar one up yeah. Yeah. right or um, there, give, it, yeah. give it a visual you have to give it a distinguishing feature yeah, to follow a yeah. little more they yep. do you're right they blend in with the regular bats too much mm-hmm. and you kind of want them to stand out more as the big bads mm-hmm. that you have to deal with they do it they focus on them in certain aspects of it but then mm-hmm. it's just in like they're like oh god they seem to just kind of come and go out of the movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You want to focus on them a little bit more, make mm-hmm. them a little more stand out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, five million dollar movie. What are you gonna do? You mm-hmm. just make them like the big bats are the ones. <laughs> yeah. <after. laughs> um. All right. So the, the 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 movie has a cold open, 
Uh, which, <laughs> a, like a lover's lane center. Yeah. Right. Why did I think honest. this was a flashback? <laughs> it, it felt like it was taking. It felt like it, and right? the way he was car, talking to her, the car, the dress, because those two are yeah. dressed like they're from the fifties. Yes, like the cowboy. Car. It's a cowboy. Yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, and he's got his fancy cowboy. Yeah, thing on. she's yeah. got like that. Um, and it's like small uh, town Texas. It is. Yeah. She's got the the hairstyle. The and yeah. Mary Lou kind yeah, of going like, to what's the prom. What's the picnic table? Yeah, gingham. Gingham. Yeah, she's got that gingham shirt on, tied up, and everything. It's just like you are from the past. Like what year? Is this? Yeah. But, then, yeah, but maybe Texas just lives in the past yeah. a little bit more than. <laughs> I would say so. Mm-hmm. And what were they talking about? Things get temperatures changing. It's Texas. It yeah. is. Hot. Uh, maybe it gets it's cold hot night, and hotter. You know, all I remember like, is hot. And yeah, yeah. Like, perfect place for bats. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it feels like a flashback that we get for our cold open. But yes, there is a cold open. Yep. Well, like many '50s monster movies, because I think this is a uh, you know we've established we've watched enough of these before that. A good one, you have like, um, you kind of have to work your way toward the town because that's like the structure right. of these <laughs> yeah. movies. We're looking at your tremors. That, yeah, you're going to have, uh, um, first of all, like the thing starts happening to the fringes of society, right? Mm-hmm. Right. The and derelicts that, mm-hmm. and the transients. And that's right. when the, the government can control it. The government can control it as yeah. long as it stays but to the transients. And it's yeah. unnoticed by yes. the general. Right. And then eventually the neighbor on the outskirts of town dies. And that's when it kind because of, you know, there's yep. livestock or something before that. Mm-hmm. Then the neighbor, <laughs> then that's when the officialdom gets in and, you know, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, my God, they're headed for the town. This movie doesn't do that. This movie's on on fucking rails. This movie does that in like the first act. It's going <laughs> yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. That town attack feels like the third act. Yeah, it's like, whoa, wow, we're really getting into it. Yeah, it but had, good for them. I guess it had the impression. Uh, I told you guys during the movie, but it, it did feel like this that they took you know a traditional movie that had the structure I just described would have mm-hmm. these punctuated like set pieces where mm-hmm. you know as the threat increases yes. and these other victims are are taken and in between. You have the dialogue between the the expert from out of town, you know, and the local uh, the local official of some type. Right. right? This movie just took those scenes and started shoved them together and all that the is your first movie. like 20 right. minutes of the movie yeah. all at once <laughs> it's it's like okay spoilers for nope if you haven't seen nope fast forward but it'd be like if it, nope has like those three narratives that kind of tie together right there's the gordy's home there's the family ranch and then there's like the greater monster right yeah and it'd be like if the first third of nope was them talking about movie making the whole time and then it was about Gordy's home and then the last third act was about just the alien monster yeah, yeah. and it's like it's weird that this movie flows as well as it does considering how out of order these like natural processes are you well know? it's just it, by accelerating it you go like are we moving too fast to like where the climax is going to be and then what are you going to do because I think movies when they do that you run out of like a momentum because mm-hmm. You're just creating action spectacle, but the 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 narrative has like reached like the climax, and then it's just like okay, then there's a bunch of you know plot stuff where like for some reason there's a disaster, and then you move on to the next disaster, and then the right. next disaster, mm-hmm. and you kind of get like fatigued by it. You do because by the time we get to the school and going through all of that, and by the time that ends, you're just like, whoo, I'm tired. Yeah, because I felt yeah. tired after that. I'm just mm-hmm. like, all right. Now we're moving on to the next spectacle. Yep. And that's kind of what we get to later on in this movie. Yeah, because it was like, we got to we gotta set up a trap to kill them. And they, you know, and then we have to set up another trap to, to kill, kill them, them, to more of them. Yes. But you're like, yeah, but narratively, you're doing the same thing right. twice, right. you know. Um, okay, so this Lover's Lane um, attack. <laughs> Back to Cold War. Right. Yes. Uh, well, I guess the impression of it, like this is your introduction to the movie, yep. right? Yeah. And um, these two kids are the bats. I think we get bat POV point of view shots as they swoop down on the car. It reminded me of like the lost boys a little yeah. bit because mm-hmm. we don't know what's attacking. Right. Even though yeah, you've gone to, you paid your ticket for a movie called bats. Right. Right. And there's this attack which is a combination of bat point of view, um, maybe shots inside the car as something's yep. breaking the windows. There's also a train going by to, I guess, give uh, like a, a horn to elevate the 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 anxiety of the scene. Yeah. But the the way that they're shooting this is 
shaking the fuck out of the camera. Yeah, you can't tell you anything it. that's happening. Yeah. No, and that is, I, I believe that's uh, that's purposeful to cover up. The cheapness? The, it, yeah. it is, it is, because yeah. a lot of the shots, if you look at it, it is just like we stuck bats to the side of a car. <laughs> yes. And so if we shake the camera, it looks like they're moving. Right. They move the wings a little bit. So the camera shaking is is sort of there to give more life to the creatures yeah. that can't And it's rapid move. editing yes. to and all these different, editing. and it's just a flurry chaotic and yeah. you're like i don't it's those, annoying to watch okay well i the, find it unpleasant it's not <laughs> yeah can, uh, as, for as much as they do it it is not pleasant as yeah, you say. yeah yeah it's just yeah you want less of it and it's mm-hmm. not like clear i suppose it's like but i think you know then you go like well what they were trying to do was you know uh, create this kind of you know chaotic moment to yes. like really right. get you like anxious or whatever but i don't think it has like you I, i'm annoyed by that right it's just an off-putting like because i'm not dumb enough to like fall for this you know what i'm saying yeah. like i can tell this is right. a cheap effect to get around the cheap effects you know right. like and, and, and you can you can enjoy that yeah because it can be fun but right. you're also just like i see what you're doing filmmakers. right i know what you're right. doing yeah and yeah. you're like well cl- more clever filmmakers would have figured out this. so then it does feel like well we're in mm-hmm. the hand of lesser filmmakers right. you know or, or if nothing else a lesser budget they only have five million it's you can the, only do yeah so but much. i mean people have done stuff on cheap budgets right. like yep, forever right. and you go like oh they figured out how you know yeah wasn't there a creature movie you watched where like there was literally animals on poles and their little hands were on poles too and they were like reaching for stuff remember I mean, that's every movie we right but here. like <laughs> uh, pre-1980 <laughs> like Aren't bats kind of easy to fake? You know, like they just kind of f- just get ru- the rubber Halloween bats and shake them around on a right. stick. You but know, I think like that's what they're doing at yeah. a certain point. Yeah, where they're just like we need to add more to this just so it doesn't yeah. look like um, Dracula versus Billy the Kid. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So we don't have potato yeah. bats or the or the one in um, <laughs> Vampire's Kiss. Right, that one bat. was very My potatoey. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> one where their wing, because in this, you know, the wings flap like a fast, yeah. like a bat would. Yeah. yeah. In the old ones, it's potato bat. Yeah. It's like, Sean, you need to do yeah. like a BuzzFeed listicle of the best like potato bats in Ooh, cinema history. I can do that. Yeah. These ones are, are battery powered or something. Yeah. So they actually yeah. flutter. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the guys at K and B. Oh, yes. I love it. Um, There's so much personality with these bats. They, I know. They, I love they them. They crawl on everything. They show up. They stalk places. people. They stalk people. Yeah. They, like, they, they try to be stealthy. Yes. Like, I, well, you know what? I don't think they try to be stealthy because this dude, this giant bat's crawling across bars, and the people are just so dumb they don't notice. The one with the on, on the, the back of the leather jacket yeah. was definitely trying to be sneaky, yeah, though. Like, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I loved his little claw hand slowly climbing up the back of the They're leather so jacket. They're so goddamn yeah. cute. They are very scared cute. of them. Yeah, and I love them so much. It's like they made a movie like with gremlins, but they with did. bats instead. I yeah. wanted them to make make more gremlins. Well, yeah. they, but they were. There were scenes they, where like those two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know, like, because they laugh like hyenas, <laughs> you know, whenever they, uh, <laughs> they, do, yeah. they pull away and you're like, what the fuck? Uh, um, <laughs> so we're introduced to our lead um, lead character. I'm not entirely sure. The, the small, this is an ensemble. Uh, OK, uh, because there was I thought the movie had trouble establishing its leads like in the beginning of the movie, just how they set up like six characters hmm. and gave them all kind of like equal footing. And maybe yeah, that was intentional, but I, it feel, I think so. Just because everyone's pretty much contributing a lot to the movie. Mm-hmm. I think even if the um, Leon uh, mm-hmm. character is only there to um, uh, comic relief, just spout mm-hmm. off his, his uh, not wanting to be there at all mm-hmm. throughout the yeah. entire movie. You but said yeah. Leon was, I remember him in Cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in he's other- been a couple other things. I mostly know him because he's has a child with one of the Real Housewives, so he shows up on that show a lot. <laughs> oh, and every okay. time, and every okay, time he, now it makes he's sense. in Cool Runnings. <laughs> he's in Cool Runnings. Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh, okay. um, oh, he's in Cool Runnings. Uh, but every time he shows up, they always brag about like he was in a movie with Stallone. Like that's the, they still uh, reference uh, Cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. So that was his moment. Yeah. He was in Cliffhanger. The Real Housewives yeah. really live off of all of that. They do. They, that's like, why it's so enjoyable. To be housewives, yeah. of wherever city yeah. you're from, it's just like you got to bring all. Yeah, because yep. you were like Leon. And Leon's yeah. in this movie. I'm like, who? Saw, right. we talked about him a lot when <laughs> no, we did the cliffhanger episode. The title came up, I'm yeah. like, and I saw him like, wait, who's the who's the guy who only had one name? Like, yeah. who's that guy? It was Leon. Like, oh, it's him. Oh, he's still acting. He's in a bunch of stuff. Name? Is he only an actor? The, 
I think so. Okay. And he just goes by Leon. Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. I he's, like it. He's Not still Leon. acting. He's been a ton of stuff. Leon, no, that's okay. Leon. All right. mm-hmm. No. That's Leon. <laughs> that's Leon. Um, Dina Meyer is a uh, person who studies <laughs> at a yes. scientist. Corruptologist or chirp yeah. column? Chirp, ch- Corruptologist, yeah. And the we, way she was saying it, I was like, can you enunciate more? Yeah, I can't understand what that? you're saying. I want to know. But yeah. she explains it several times and the fact mm-hmm. that we still don't have it. But, yeah. you know, she's yeah. the one who She's will... a wildlife zoologist with a specialty in corruptology, which mm-hmm. is bats. And she will explain... So she's in the movie to basically explain... Uh, try to give us a scientific understanding of bats. Yes. She is uh, re- recruited into the movie in a scene lifted from Jurassic Park. Yeah, the helicopter landing is like, we need your help. Come on. I oh thought my- he was going to bring her to a dress park. If this ever happened to you guys, you would just shit your pants, right? Because you know something's really bad if, if the government is helicoptering into you. expertise, I'm like, what <laughs> movie are you making? Like, why, why do you need me? Like, You must be in real trouble. Okay, if anybody was coming to us, it would be for like... Uh, we need people who know Red Brown's filmography would, front and anybody, back. If anybody landed a helicopter and said, hey, we need you, I would be the most excited I've ever been. I know. But also be you'd like, be what shitting do you your pants. I'm in. But you'd also be shitting your pants because if they're taking a helicopter to find you, it's fucking urgent. Yeah, it's like, urgent. It's, right. Yeah. If you're coming to find me, also, like, also, what does this pay? Yeah, yeah. Because you're going to, I'm going to need some money. Well, what the, um, yeah, because I think the, the Sterling bit of dialogue was like, there's a, <laughs> what was it? There's a biological. Uh, what know. did they say? Biological. It wasn't disaster, right? Emergency, it was something else. Disaster. Biological emergency. Yeah. Yeah. Is that There's what it was? A biological emergency. What and is her it? answer is what sort of biological yeah. emergency? And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> what is yeah. the answer? <laughs> bats. bats. <laughs> it's bats. And she's yeah. a it's bat always, expert. So, right. and yeah. Leon's her like assistant, her bat expert assistant. I guess he's, he's like the data wrangler. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the one who goes into the caves. And he's and the guy in the chair. He's yep. the guy in the chair. You're right. Yep. yep. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> and she goes spelunking down mm-hmm. into, into bat indeed. caves. He hates bats, which is, there's always got to be a character who works in the field yep. extensively and also hates but also, but yet, subject matter. But yet, it makes no sense. Right. It's just like, why would profession? you? Like, I'm sure you can apply your <laughs> skills to something else that right. doesn't she, like, bother you. Like, she's a bad scientist. She chose that. She, right. like, you're not a bad scientist. You it could, must, yeah. It must pay well. But he also is. has the bat skeleton shirt on. He and does. it's like, okay, do you really hate this? I mean, like, but he says, He's like, yeah. I like him. I yeah. like him from a distance, but right. I like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a strange choice of a career. Mm-hmm. Uh, you say that uh, she likes bats. How do you know? Uh, c- because she has a, a Master Wayne origin story <laughs> of her fucking, uh, she they had a oh, barn yeah. on her property growing up and I'm like, okay, so you had bats, and I was like, I thought that's where the story was going to end because, like, there isn't much more to it than that, right? <laughs> what, like, this ended up forced trauma. It's her. She was so afraid of him. Her dad made her hold one. I was like, yeah. your dad wanted you to potentially get rabies. That it's seems exposure, horrible. Exposure theory. Yeah. You're, right. you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 there's rabies. Yeah. Um, like and I said, smoke ever the since back of cigarettes in front of me. Yeah, this, it, this is your punishment. very much. And she loved him after that. that yeah, ever since I held it, it was the the most was so delicate, gentle. gentle thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And if it was one of the best from this movie, I would understand. Yep. Yeah, and so she yep. loved him. She tells this in a heartfelt scene to Lou Diamond Phillips yeah. again in this accelerated kind of thing, yep. which is I suppose I think supposed to give you that kind of. Uh, Personal connection and potential love interest uh, moment. Which never pays you know? off. It never pays um, off. Which There's a I'm couple. Fine. I'm yeah. Perfectly but there fine was another not. line. But I wanted an adult sex scene in this movie. That's, I mean, maybe oh, I'm asking too I, much, I, but I, for this movie, I think you well, were. There was an I, R-rated cut it. of this movie. Ooh. It's on the DVD, allegedly. There's, There's an R-rated an cut of this movie uh, on the oh, DVD. Yeah, wait a second. So Actually, a we cut. watched the just a cut to them fucking. Oh, we I, we watched a version on. Uh, so we saw it on Amazon Prime, yes. and at the beginning, it says rated PG-13 for nudity. It said nudity. There was no uh, nudity. sexual content. Yeah. Uh, strong language, we like all this it. stuff, and we're like. Yeah, so we get the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's what I'm it was released right. PG 13 in yes, the theater. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, there is not a hint of sexuality no. in the movie. We she watched. takes off a jacket and wears a tank top, and that's like the closest that, we that get. That is as close that's as why this is I'm a like, chased movie. They, they had a scene. They must have had a scene together, and I, it completely well, got cut out. Well, better I wonder if it was the Lover's Lane scene at oh, the beginning maybe. or something like that. Or does a bad just rip the lady's clothes off? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that Drop scene went on longer, and then yeah, they, it's possible. Um, 
Well, Sean, your assignment, choose you, should you choose to accept it, right. find the DVD <laughs> of Bats <laughs> and watch the R-rated version. The alternate cut yes. of, of Bats. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, because all, all those warnings did not apply no, to the movie no, we watched. Just, no, yeah, I was like, yeah. wait a second, we got gypped. Yeah, um, I know. Bullshit. But, uh, yeah, there was another flirtatious line where she's, he said something like, uh, you know, what was it? It was when he was, she's like reaching She's there like, go be gentle or with it gentle or but firm. firm. And he was like, oh, I will. And like, there she's was like, like clearly an innuendo. Are, yeah. Uh, Sheriff so and <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. And yeah. again, it doesn't pay off because it seems like she has maybe a relationship with her assistant Leon because he's always calling her baby. Yeah. Uh, they just like each other. It's fine. I, I mean, yeah. It would make more sense for them right. to be working closely in the field as like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, mm-hmm. but whatever. The exclusive <laughs> R-rated version features never before seen footage. Oh my on God. On special so edition curious. DVD director's cut. Ooh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Fine. Sean's on the case. Fine. I'll find it. <laughs> Maybe it was streaming. Maybe that was the other one that was. Maybe. I, mean, I, guess I, could, I could look at Mr. Skin and see what the actual <laughs> thing is, right? Yeah. You know? Probably. Yeah, because Dina Meyer's down to get naked, so yeah. yeah, why not? But I do appreciate about this movie. I didn't realize it until now. There is no children in this movie. Yep. Uh, so there's, oh, there's, there's one. It, yeah. He right. Gets rescued. Or, but there's no. No, the one is playing the video game. Yeah. But there's no, like, I got to get home to my son. Yeah. Like, kind uh, of added drama by being like, w- you know, there's no kid for stakes. Yeah. And I like right. that. I, I am, like, good, in good. my mind comparing this to Kingdom of the Spiders and, like, kind of ranking I all the scenes like, against blasted. it. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's I mean, that parade movies. scene in Kingdom of the yes. Spiders yeah, is was, unbeatable. That, that dude was, walking yeah. by with a spider on his hand? Yeah. yeah. Love him. Love him. Yeah. Um, he didn't even know. So the, the other extraneous characters, right, that mm-hmm. we're introduced to. So we have uh, Dina Meyer yep. and Leon. Okay, mm-hmm. they're the, the scientists that are coming in. They're recruited by uh, the CDC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a representative from the CDC. That guy looked familiar to me. And I've I seen do him not in remember Studio 60 it. on the Sunset Strip. Mm-hmm. He was one of the writers in it, but that's the only gotcha. other thing I've seen him in. Oh, I saw him in something else. I'm sure he's been I'm sorry. I don't know. His. And um, then Bob Gunton mm-hmm. is there as basically the John Hammond of this expedition. Mm-hmm. We're like, why is yes. Bob Gunton here? But more evil scientist. Yep. But Sean, what did you say? Is this like his go-to character trait in this movie? <laughs> Every time they cut to Bob Gunton, it's he, like he heard something interesting and he took his glasses off. Like, Dramatically pulls his glasses like, off. The- you're like, you're wrong. Yeah. The bats are like this because yeah. I made them that way. Mm-hmm. And if, and and if, then puts it, and if he finished on. a point, glasses on. Yep. Like, But it happened so many yeah, times. But in that's this movie. they call that handkerchief acting. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, yes. he, I mean, he's no Donald Pleasance and no. can't no. just do it with like the sandwich that's right. on the. Right. He's just, all he had was his the glasses. One move. Right. He had the one. Right. Yeah. But, yep. I, but I like I like when, uh, but I like that. I like when actors have a move. I think it was up to the filmmakers to. Maybe parse it out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, edit they out didn't some of them. Until the right. yeah. like, uh, like he does he it does all. Does it? Yeah. yeah, that's all he does. <laughs> and it, well, that's what he does. But I really, do like that move. It's very noticeable too, because a lot of times this it's we're at another scene, and then it cuts to him taking his glasses off yeah. at the start yeah. of the scene. Yeah. Right. So it's really because noticeable. for most of the movie, it's him in the background listening to the other yes. characters have a conversation, and so it's him hearing something, turning around, and being mm-hmm. like. That's wrong. Yep. Yep. <laughs> as the glasses come right, off. As the glasses come off. Um, okay, but just before we move on, because I want to get to his motivation, who he is and his motivation. <laughs> yes. But uh, the other characters, there is a deputy, uh, a deputy, mm-hmm. and there's this other woman Wesley who is the deputy, yeah. shows up. Mm-hmm. And- is she the mayor? Yeah, what was her? I, <laughs> I think she's the mayor. I felt like I missed something with her because I'm like, why is she in? Important. I think I, we. I think it's it's barely touched. But okay. I think she's the mayor of the town. Okay. Gotcha. Did she Pretty get sure. killed? I can't even what, remember. Last we her. saw her, she got under the truck with Lou Diamond Phillips, and then I think she goes off and she's fine. Okay. okay. So oh, she and, does not die. And Lou Diamond Phillips, obviously, yes. he's the sheriff of. The, mm-hmm. So the As CDC is basically we have this biological emergency in Gallup, Texas. We mm-hmm. got to get you over there. So they bring the bat expert. They have the corpse of the uh, the the um, cold open yep. victim. Mm-hmm. They've been torn apart by bats. Yep. We have to determine what kind of bats they are, you know, what the danger is, blah, blah, blah. Yep. So, and Lou Diamond Phillips is the uh, 
because they always have that. They have like the the educated um, scientist, and then like the hayseed from the town who's always like, "Yeah, you're saying those big words." And I don't, yep, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, yep. Which is which yeah, leads to the of it? which always leads to the. So let me get this straight. You're telling me, yeah. That, that, <laughs> so that is what always. That's why that conversation exists. There's yeah. a lot of like drinking games that could be made out of this. So movie. anytime many. they say bats, I mean that alone right. because like with Shamra, is it you or a column that said every scene in this movie ends with someone saying bats and then they say bats like it's a bats. question and <laughs> right, answer right. no yeah. it's always you always have to say bats twice but yeah like, yeah bats, bats bats yep what is it bats bats, bats. bats. Yep. like emphasis yep. we need two bats for emphasis. I, know. Yep. I just want to see it written out we got to get a hold of the script let's get the like, script is, and command right. search bats right because you're always going to see one that's lowercase yeah. and then the big one that's yes. uppercase but, do they underscore yes is yeah. there one oh, you bet your ass they do you bet your ass they do Bats. Uh, yeah. Bats. You can say it three two. times in one script block where it's like bats, yeah. period, bats, underscore, period, bats, all caps, yes. uh, underscored. I mean, you just uh, like, yep. yeah, leave it up to the actor to interpret how they want <laughs> to play that. Um, okay. So, uh, and so basically you're going to get the science, scientist and the, uh, the man of action mm-hmm. right together. A potential love interest that where this movie doesn't explore, no. so we're going to they're going to have to save the day mm. uh, uh, against. The they evil, definitely the evil that sex scene was definitely like the night they were staying in the school, right? Like one well, last that's what ride I was ask, like, kind where, of thing. Where would you place that's it? where it's like, at. You, you After think? they get all the fencing set up, and they're like, "Ah, oh, we're done with this right. for tonight. Now we, to blow off some right. steam. They shouldn't be here for like an <laughs> yeah. hour. It's a, it's a, it's a. We're all going to hell tonight. This is our last ride. Let's this go is, out with a bang. It literally. is, and it's also where they get to know each other because this yeah. is where the sheriff uh, lets loose his opera fetish. Uh, this I'm like, I'm, now I'm going to call it a fetish this. because he unleashes it on everybody. Yeah, I like he like forces this. Leon on has to come over. And go, you're a sick. You're man. a sick man, and it's just like don't tell anybody. It's just like you're broadcasting no, no. it literally to the world. His fetish is not just opera. His fetish is other people accidentally finding out he's into opera. Yes. he's like gets off on that. Yes, part of it. he does. Like, oh, you you like, stumbled in on me listening to opera. Oh, huh? How oh, embarrassing! Oh, I'm sorry. Was, that, was my music too loud? Yeah. Did I? I'm sorry. Did you hear that? I'm so oh, sorry. sorry. I never let people listen to this, yes. but if you'd like to come in and talk about it we can right <laughs> and um, then i bet you the sex scene happened after that well you're still she's like you love the sex opera? scene happens uh. between the two of them yeah so maybe I, this I, is what we're gonna have to answer this two? yeah we're gonna have to find right? out because there's nobody else who's just banging at a certain <laughs> yeah. point right except because, maybe the opening well, scene, the, but, yeah it, it either has to be the lover's lane or it has to be those two because that's the only like sexual setups in the movie yeah, yeah. so yeah. unless it's a bad sex scene oh god that would have been alarming yeah which, uh, okay. I, I would have applauded them if the only sex scene was a bat sex scene. That would have well, been great. All, but also, like, maybe it was a bat human sex scene. Ew. All right. Um, no, no, no. All right. Now, now here we like, saw Splice. Nothing's off yeah, the table. Yeah, because at the beginning splice. of this movie, when, when the couple get attacked and everything, mm-hmm. there is one shot that after the dude goes through the windshield and ends up in the front of the car, the camera is on top looking down and yeah. slowly pans away. Inside the it car, like yes. there's, there's some thrusting there's going on. There's thrusting out. going on. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. And I say that's it. It was there. You're gonna have you to answer this. I'm it. sorry, <laughs> listener, that we haven't done the due diligence and actually found out I, what's I, contained I, in the alternate listener. cut because it sounds now so much more interesting. It does. Um, we dare you. All right, Bob Gunton's character. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Who is he? What has he done? And what does he want to do? So they were experimenting with the bats yep. to do what? Make them you smarter or something? Uh, to make them the, uh, everyone always wants to make them the perfect killing machine. Yeah. Why? He even says that at Like point. for military use, I it, guess, isn't right? Always, everyone's wailing Utani, and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. we need bioweapons. And right. that's just, I think anybody who's ever studying um, uh, animals like this always sees that this certain animal has a sp- specific, unique property, right? That isn't it doesn't exist in other animals or humans, and so we want to see what we can it. do with it. Whether it always ends up being weaponized, mm-hmm. but I'm sure they're well, trying in to movies, figure out. Movies, it's yeah. always weaponized. It is. But I'm sure in they're real trying life, to figure out. I'm sure, but, you and, know. And in real and in real life, they're like, or all right, what can we apply this to in real life? Can yeah. we find vaccines? Can right. we cure things? Can we? I mean, can we send it to war? Yeah. Can we put a missile on a bat's back and send it to <laughs> Iraq? Like, right, yeah. like they're looking at everything. So I'm sure he was doing like that at a certain point. And as every scientist does, they get a little too infatuated with their work, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like, late at night, the, the lightning's going off. They're Frankensteining, yeah. The lightning's going off in the distance, and they're like, 
what if we did this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that's where that always goes. So what, did, what like, did he do to him? He injected him with some sort of virus. Okay. Is what we're told. And that's about That's kind of all we get. Yeah, that's well, as he, as we he get, made right? them more intelligent. Mm-hmm. He made yeah. them more aggressive. I like the scene yes. with Dina Mayer where she's like, hold on. Let me guess. Stop me if I get this wrong. You made them more intelligent. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. He can't say it. For, they were called in, but he can't say it. And she's like, all right, let me tell you. Was he what getting yeah. paid by the word or something? Because they have everyone else say his dialogue. They do. You know? It's like, Bob, no, Bob Gunn was the most expensive actor yes, on this yeah. movie. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yep. No. But like the more you, the more you, yeah. right? I He's think so. Me. Diamond Phillips. He's you on a. Uh, he's on a da- is in the movie, but he's on a. Da- his career is on a downturn at this yeah, point. That's true. La Bamba was like, like fifteen years before in, this. Like you know? yeah. feels like the big. Like he's not first build or anything, but he right. feels like the you know the stars. The, the, the diamond. One of the most recognizable yeah. actors you can get. Like mm-hmm. maybe you don't know his name. But you're like, I know that guy. Yeah. He's in a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, I like that this era when they would put people in. Like you know, you recognize right. everybody's in, yeah. in all the the parts. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, I get it. He engineered these bats to do some crazy things, Mm -hmm. and then he says two of them got loose. Uh And then he's like, and they were infected with a virus. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the movie immediately diffuses that. It's like, we did tests on the the bodies, and uh, that it doesn't cross over to humans. Yes. It only works on other bats. And then you're like, oh, no, he's going to infect all the other bats in the the community. Why do we care? Like, I get ecosystem-wise is important, but, like, as people, like, it seems like our primary concern was not getting people infected and then we find out that's not a problem so it's right like, where well, the because but the aggressive so problem is yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. Yeah. kill humans yes. they're killer yeah. bats yeah and right. they were shown uh, uh computer displays which run uh probabilities <laughs> yes. in in right now it's uh you know day one it's this town Day two, oh, the yeah. world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. That dramatic. That's so we Leon's have to f- shining moment. <laughs> right. it, it, it's he gets like to do that. Hours. Yeah. 48 hours. Yeah. 72 hours. 120 hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's like worldwide domination. Yes. We're going to kill them all. So, in order to do that, well, okay, but his motive. He, uh, it is revealed, mm. right? So he's like, they escaped, and that's why I'm here. We got to, yes. you know, do something mm-hmm. about these bats. Later, mm-hmm. right? It turns out, no. It he set the bats free. He sartained them. Yeah, and which you called from the first okay. moment. Well, I'm just like he. Well, if he's not giving away the information, it's just like there's nefarious dealings yes. going on with him, and it's like he released them on purpose because he wanted them out in the world. I mean, but you they came to that do. I think because of the accelerated nature of the plot. You're like, I've seen these before. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. And by, if you're giving all that away by this point, yes. there has yeah, to be another be turn. Something. Yeah, because we can't. The just other go turn the rest is of the movie. yeah, he did it himself. Right. Mm-hmm. We can't just go the rest of the movie without some other left turn of some sort. Yeah. Right. And so even if you can call it, but there was a left turn later on where mm-hmm. he goes bat crazy. Mm-hmm. He goes bat shit. <laughs> yeah. That line was not in the movie <laughs> though. Should have been. They're Should've literally been. walking through a lake of bat shit. That made me a little gaggy. Oh, and, I was like, oh, and, cool. and now maybe I'm more hack than whoever wrote this script. John but, Logan. Right. <laughs> yes. But Logan. Start a beef uh, with uh, him, Logan. Sean. Leon, he deserves it. <laughs> yeah. Leon should have said this line. He said yeah. every <laughs> other shitty <laughs> Line yeah. for this movie, he yep. should have but said not this bad line. Shit, crazy, mm-hmm. yeah. but whatever. Did mm-hmm. bad shit crazy exist back then? Yeah. Was uh, that, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Then he should have said it. Yeah. Um, this is the movie. It's called Bats. So right. Bob Gutton wants to set the bats free. I guess, and I guess it's never explained why, because he's to crazy see what, to see what they do. Because he says at some point, like I can control them, and they're like, okay, fine, control them then. And he's like, yep. but why would I want to? <laughs> 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 And you're like, what fucking sense does this make? Because Doesn't, they're because about blow to kill your brains you. out if you don't. Like, yeah. and then they do kill him, and it's like, well, they got what they wanted, and they left after they killed him. And you're like, you know, because they wanted to kill their creator. I get it, mm-hmm. like Frankenstein science. Right, but we should have got like because earlier on they they do end up capturing a bat and tagging it because mm-hmm. they want to follow it and see where it goes and with the other bats. But as <laughs> they let it team. right, but as they let it go, the two big bats mm-hmm. come through and just. Whoosh, Slice that dude and slice that little bat in half because they know that's they a, know. that means that they're super intelligent bats. But this leads to just me wanting a decapitation via bat. 
like or something. It felt like, like we were leading up to that with the one guy getting his neck chewed. It. I thought he was going to get the lawyer from Jurassic Park treatment. Oh, just yeah, the toilet. Yeah, some, be- some, yeah. There should have been because he was the creator. And there should have been more to that. We right. were also looking for bats to come down and swoop people up and pick yeah. them up. Pick him up. Yeah. Like something of that sort. They like, like, should have picked him up. That's money. And, and <laughs> sw- like cut off his limbs or something yeah. like yeah. that. Like mm-hmm. Jurassic yeah. Park Two has two, maybe has two T Rexes mm-hmm. pick up a dude and split him in yeah. half between yeah. the two. T-Rexes. Or even you know how in Kingdom of the Spiders the spiders work together to like cut the power and yeah. break the windows. <laughs> we needed the bats to work more as a team to like, especially if they're hyper intelligent to do things like and that. If they're they, being yeah. ordered by these two right. like, alpha bats. Yeah. Right. I want I want, yeah, I want a bats going, ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Just, they send bats yeah, off. Yeah. 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 And then they, yeah. And then they're like, you know, uh, cutting the power to something or, you know, cutting a gas bats. line. Yeah. <laughs> they all wanted gremlin yeah. bats. Well, they're yeah. just like pulling power things and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One explodes himself. I mean, you right. kind of, um, well, you I mean, see it. It's, no, we ride a very, yeah, we, very yeah. thin yeah. line. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't want to go completely ridiculous. No, right. But it kind of should. It's a yeah. $5 million movie called Bats. If these are really smart bats, they should be acting really smart. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. They do enough mm-hmm. where it feels like they could do more. Mm hmm. They, um, so, okay, so the, the main centerpiece moment it happens about halfway through the movie. The first centerpiece, there's an attack on the town. The yeah. CDC is supposed to, uh, you know, uh, evacuate the town, but the townspeople are all, you know, there's this massive bat it. massacre. The mayor says, like, none of them believed it, so they're mm-hmm. still here. They want yeah. to see it for themselves. And this is where we get our 50s monster movie, Attack of the Town. Yeah. Yep. Which is very uh, uh, elaborate. And mm-hmm. It's fun. I know there's shit blowing up all blowing over the up. place. Lots of lot windows of, broken. Lot of, lot of, uh, yeah. Stunt work. Yeah. We, and... had, we discussed uh, uh, during the movie, is it only defenestration if you go out a window? But what is out? It's, it's just through, through, yeah. through a window or yeah. inside yeah. or outside, yes. The deputy goes into a building and then yeah. is uh, attacked mm-hmm. by bat. I've always wanted to go through a window. Is that a thing? I mean, that we can make that happen. I know, yeah. but like, you know. I'm it's, curious it's, what it feels like. Right. Yeah. I've always just wanted to go through one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Up a little bit, but I just know, go through but one. You yeah. can die that way because it's sharp. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to get to do the sugar go glass. Yeah, the sugar glass. Yeah. Nah, I want real windows. Oh, wow. Well, so, I've seen the end of Ghost. I know how that goes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to get ghosted. Yeah. So the bats attack the town and then they fly off. And then the, uh, the, the um, scientist, the sheriff. Because the deputy's out of the mm-hmm. picture, the mayor disappears at this point, yep. and uh, they're like, "Okay, we have to. We're going to go somewhere where we can fortify ourselves." And they go to an old school, yep. and they uh, there's a montage mm-hmm. yeah. of them to the opera, an operatic. But there's montage. two montages in this movie, which I thought was kind of lazy, but I get what they're trying <laughs> to do. They're like, it's the suit up moments, yep. you know, the building moment. Like, here's the we got the pliers and we got the yeah, hammer. We're gonna, we got to batten down the hatches and then we have a suit up moment. Yeah. Later. yeah. Well, and once again, I thought this was also leading to more sexual attention because mm-hmm. Dina Meyer takes her sweater off and she's in a tank top and all sweaty. Lou Diamond Phillips is in like a tight white t shirt and all sweaty, all working sweaty on them and working. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are, yeah. And yeah, I'm like, like, this is gearing up for like a we need to blow off some steam. Yeah, like, right. Like, if know. Lou Diamond Phillips have been like taking the white yeah, shirt off, exactly. then we're just like, all right. Yeah. It's because Leon's the third wheel. See, in this, mm. uh, he's uh, always interrupting at the yeah. key moments. Yep. When yep. Two we're gonna get, yes, yep. you're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, cock blocking everybody. Yep. So they put up a fence, they electrify it, you know, inside the thing. And then uh, the, I think this is where they come up with their because we're, we're told that like the military is going to blow up the town if they can't mm-hmm. uh, find the bats in a certain amount of time. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, the bats do attack them at the school and they, uh, um, oh, after they've determined like what we really need to do here is we need to freeze the bats. Now they are in, uh, that San Antonio, where were they? Uh, oh, Gallup, Gallup, Texas. Texas. Yeah. They're like, we need to freeze the pat the bats. If it gets below 40, they'll hibernate. We just need to drop the temperature down to 32 degrees. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, Where's lady? You are in Texas. And they're like, <laughs> so. So the- I immediately cut to uh, uh, the moment in Critters 2 <laughs> where they're filling up the big frozen factory with all the, the meat and everything, trying to attract the critters. Like, we get them in there. We'll freeze. We'll, they'll blow them mm-hmm. up. Like, yeah. It's the same idea. Yeah. Draw so, them a certain area, freeze them, and then be done. The goal is to put some kind of refrigerant <laughs> machine in a bat which, cave. Which they order from where? Colin? 
uh, was it from the Langley. oh from Langley? Langley. This is Colin. Colin got hung up on this. Colin had a mission tonight. He, yeah, he had to figure out where every uh, uh, yeah, Department of Defense and every yeah. government uh, FBI defense and, agency where they were. Yeah, because the Langley is uh, if yeah. the CIA yeah. and CIA deals with international law enforcement, not mm-hmm. domestic. Trying to figure out who would have the power to order yeah. a giant fridge unit to freeze. These <laughs> Although bags. you had a good idea that like they had to call in the satellites, but mm-hmm. I think that's right. the Department of Defense also. Uh, mm-hmm. it would not be uh, in does, Langley. But, well, right, but does the Department of Defense report to anybody? Like, we're, we're trying to figure out levels of government. <laughs> yes, Colin's this movie. trying to do the checks and balances of <laughs> yeah, government. Right. While Who's in charge? Yeah. Yeah. Who's in charge? We got to yeah. get to Langley. Yeah. Call Langley. Who do and tell I need them- to talk to to get a fridge yeah. here in this case? <laughs> See, I thought they were just going to go, like, basically do the fire hydr- uh, fire extinguisher thing. I thought they were just going to go in and just, like, spray them all like down. In yeah. Slugs. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> spray them with salt yeah, water. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever it was, remember at the end. It really was. Oh, oh it yeah. really Dude. was. They had salt. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They'd yeah, explode. They yeah. You're right. I forgot they <laughs> Slugs is a good one of these, too. Yeah. Slugs is Go good, slugs. but the first thing I think of when you say that is that salad that guy ate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. I, oh, boy. They had slugs in his brain. Uh, yes. They came out but during you dinner. saw oh. it being sliced yeah. up and put in the salad. Oh, it was so much. That movie was visceral. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like, uh, you know, the fish. The little sardines. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Just like a sardine. Mm-hmm. Well, Jeez, they sardines do. Sardines are all just. I, you, no, you, I don't. You <laughs> don't actually, like, you know, show people uh, in a montage setting up a big uh, electrified fence if you're not going to use it. So they do. There's a big bat attack. The bats are coming in everywhere. Yep. Uh, bats are smart in this movie. They come into your car, yeah. like, going through the vents and all that stuff. Oh, so, the, oh, yeah. The car attack with the bats. This is our first kind of real. Um, experience mm-hmm. with the puppet bats mm-hmm. because they are crawling in through every part of this car, going up the tailpipe, crawling out uh, the air conditioning vents and everything. And they're again, poking their little heads they're out. They're so cute. Yeah. God damn it. I wish they weren't so cute. I might be terrified of this. Movie, I know. But they're just so, just because it's all puppets and shit. And yeah. it's just them like, you know, bursting through the thing going, ha. Ah. Is there just- a reason they couldn't start the car and drive away during this scene? No. That's what well, I kept they, thinking. They tried, the whole time. but I think. Well, it's never eventually, well, didn't yeah. she, but she says at one point, "Oh, they're in the engine." But that's after a few that's minutes, after like yeah. five yeah. minutes of being yeah. attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Then they try to start the yeah. car. They could have driven away. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. You know. but the the school the school attack thing with the uh, the electrified fence mm-hmm. actually does work. There's a bunch of sparks explode. Mm-hmm. There's explosions. They kill a bunch of bats. Yep. Mm-hmm. But the two um, main ones kill Bob Gunton, and yes. they get mm-hmm. away. And so they determine that the bats are hiding in a mine. You know, nearby, right. which has he, never been previously mentioned. It's like, right. bro, you probably should have said this. It's not on a map. No. Yeah, yeah. It's the smallest town in Texas, and they're just like, we have this giant mine. Yeah, and no one's mentioned it. Though. Right. Yeah. It's like they're uh, living in the mine. Right. We're looking for bats, and you're looking for caves. It's mm-hmm. like, we don't have any. We have a mine. Do you think they might be in there? Yeah, they might be. And right. actually, when they mention that, Bob Gunton has to like turn away from the camera and get on the phone because it turns Did he put his out glasses on before you. <laughs> yes. I sure hope so. Because it turns out that that is actually where the experiment was conducted. That's where he's working because I think the uh, uh, there's a army general that's seen for one scene where he's after. That's right, Major. We're behind it. We started the whole thing. It's uh, hilarious. Is he? Oh, like, did, I think I missed the whole... Does he? Yeah, because it's yeah. when all the the military guys are like right. going in at night, and mm-hmm. it's like that's right. You know, because oh, it's like when they decide it, to go in at night. Yeah, against... we know they're down there because we were working on them. That's right. It's <laughs> our you know our fault. We did it. And I'm like, this is just so on the nose. <laughs> And look ridiculous. Sons of bitches. They all get killed, all the army guys, because oh, yeah. they try to go in at night. So it is up to Lou Diamond Phillips and uh, Dina Meyer and Leon to save the day. Yep. Um, so they, they have bat suits. And and they have, uh, there's a time limit because the, the strike force is coming and it's going to level the whole uh, place. But that's not going to work because It'll that scatter will the scatter bats. the bats. Although there was a scene where Lou Diamond Phillips was like, well, what do we do? We bomb him. This is after he, did, he, he did just said, that. why don't we just bomb him? And it's like, yeah. what, we just not three minutes ago discussed why that's a bad idea. Right. Like you guys were all against it when it was the military's idea. But when he comes up with it, he's like, no, bombing's a good idea when I say it's a good idea. Right. Just like, uh, all right, slow. Yeah. Small town sheriff. Right. Uh, get with the program. So what is the, uh, what are they, what are they going to do here in the climax of the movie? They're going to go and do what with the. Well, they found, uh, as you said, the army decided to go in at night despite 
um, the experts saying don't do that. Which it seems like I feel like if you know anything about bats, you know they're nocturnal, right? Yeah. Like that's like bats one hundred one, right? 101, like yeah, on the number one on the list. Yeah, bats it's nocturnal. nocturnal. This gives me no faith in our military. Well, it's because, <laughs> you know, like, it's because they didn't have the scientists with them. Yeah. Or, you know. So, I mean, they go in, they all get murdered. A lot of military murdered bodies in this movie. I was they're surprised in. by they're, that. There are, but you can tell the cheapness of the movie is because they stumble on. It's like, oh, they're like, the whole army's dead. You see three bodies. Yeah. <laughs> that one guy you could this see him the, breathing, too. I was like, yeah, oh, boy. This is the representation yeah. of the military being dead. We're not going to show anybody else. Yep. But they end up, they, they find out that their mission is far enough along. The fridging unit is down in the cave. Mm -hmm. So all they need to do is turn it on. Yep. Why there isn't a remote turn on for this thing from up above? It's got nuclear of, keys like the football. It does. Like, it it's really like, it, I was waiting for like, oh, we found one key. I thought for sure the next thing was going to be like, oh, shit, there's, we got turn two at right. the same time, you know? But, um... Oh my god! I got like horrible video game flashbacks at this scene though because they were literally searching the bodies for a yep. key, and I was like, "Oh, loot the, body. Loot the body. I, I was loot like, nope, body. nope, yep." And then you keep looting, and it's all trash, trash, trash <laughs> until you find the key. Yep, I was like, "I need bolts right yep. now. I need a key." <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, this yeah. is after they've waded through the bat shit and set okay. like fire with flares. Okay, and the like, bat shit all right, though. All right. So they, yeah. they, they decide to go into a cave. They have geared up because they they have. As they said earlier, they cannot go into this because they will be overcome by the ammonia of the yeah. bat shit yeah. within a cave. So they Makes have to sense. Up for it. Yeah, I, I, I'm there. I'm mm -hmm. with you. Uh, they go into the cave. They end up falling through a hole in it and end up in a river of bat shit. Like chest deep. It's yeah. gross. Which is said by Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. Are you telling me I'm chest... Are, are you telling me... Let me get this straight. <laughs> are, you are you telling, telling me, me that I am chest deep in bat shit right now? Yeah. And he's like, yes, you yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and so we're just like, all right. We produce methane, mm -hmm. flammable. If you yeah, let a yeah, fucking yeah. flare, oh my what God. happens when you do it within the vicinity of a river of bad shit? Nothing. Nothing. And then he throws it in the water when it's burnt I out. And I was like, what? I, I yeah. Googled it. It, it, Googled it, is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is flammable. It is flammable. So I don't agree with this part of it. Have you guys heard about there's like that specific... Uh, brand of coffee that they feed the beans to the bats and they shit them out and it's yes. like really expensive because it's heard of passed through a bat and it yes. allegedly tastes different. I don't know. Yes, but I've it is a Colin's luxury, luxury like, form of coffee. Travel yeah. different circles than us. Yeah. <laughs> luxury yeah. coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It. It's a real yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. I don't doubt it, but yep. it's still gross. Yep. Um, no, I agree. Magic, crazy coffee? Yeah. <laughs> um, the buzz is bat shit. Next week at the freak show, Holly usually brings treats. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, going to bring yeah, batshit yeah. coffee bat shit next coffee. week. Bat guys, this guy's a bat passed out these beans. Let's try it. <laughs> batshit coffee is it's a great name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you want to get through your day? Batshit coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, how's it made? With real batshit. And then mm -hmm. nobody buys it yep. after that moment. Straight um, from the anus of a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Drink this. <laughs> um... So, only the freshest bats were used, all right? We want to stress. <laughs> I know, because then you got to go look at the species of bat and all this stuff. Right. Uh, There's also they also do it with like civets, which are like a like a jungle like small cat, like a like a smaller kind uh, of leopard. They do it with those too. Now you're speaking so, my language. Yeah, you, you're fine with the cat <laughs> yeah. shit. Coffee. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll okay. take that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so again, I was kind of confused about the timeline. The yeah. army is coming in 67 minutes. They it takes them 15 minutes to ride the elevator down. They have to get to the thing and turn it on and get back up. I think eventually they have like seven minutes. Yeah. They turn the, the machine on. It starts producing uh, cold air, I guess, in this cave that's 53 degrees. We've got to get it down to 32. By and the way, this is all predicated on the fact that it's a daytime and the bats aren't going anywhere, right? Right. Yeah. Daytime lasts a long time from what I know. Mm -hmm. So there shouldn't be a clock on this. But the army's coming. They've already the left the Air Force I, I base. Bar, so they can't tell them, hey, circle for 10 minutes just yeah. so we don't right. kill these we people. We can't. You got to call Whatever. it off, Major. I can't. I'm not calling off this airstrike. Like, we can go in and do it. It's very tense. It's very tense. Very tense. Um, Luke but I was goes. like, okay, so but, but what the movie was basically saying that I heard, right, yeah. is uh, we just have to turn the thing on and uh, get out, right, within yep. mm -hmm. in 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, and then we can call off the airstrike, even though I'm like, how long does it actually take to refrigerate an entire room full of bats? Apparently, according to the movie, you turn it on and, you know, within five minutes, it'll uh, refrigerate the whole room and right. all those bats will 
freeze to death. I, I, I've lived with AC uh, window units. It takes a little longer than yep. that. I mean, this is a whole ass cave. <laughs> I can get a room cold <laughs> right. in five minutes. Like, let's, you know. That's why I'm like, wouldn't like fire extinguishers or something similar be more But there effective? are millions of bats yeah. in that cave. And they all, this yeah. is the thing that these bats do because they're hyper intelligent. Mm -hmm. They all stop what they're doing and turn and look at you. I and love that. The eyes. Yes. eyes light up. All right. The eye light up. Really liked it. Whenever. Yeah. It happened, I think, twice in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Really liked it. It's like, oh, like, shoot, ooh. they're looking yeah. at us. That is a good stop the music, oh, shit moment. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. they're coming. Um, but see, uh, freezing bats is not a very good uh, visual uh, no. kinetic moment. It could be. It could be in the, in, like, in in capable hands. And you yeah. see the the ice going on their wings. and they just Yeah, yeah kind of like Van Helsing. Down, like, did. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Maybe they, all, they all popped, maybe, in Van Halen. I think they were electrocuted, <laughs> yeah. and they all went, <laughs> as they're coming. Um, but, but Lou Diamond Phillips, we've discussed that you will be overcome if you are down there. This is what, they're wearing suits for yep. this. Lou Diamond Phillips loses, uh, gets attacked by a bat, and loses yeah, his helmet. Yeah, bat chews through the yeah. metal <laughs> yeah. hose that's connected. Right, right. Okay. And as Colin pointed out, this hose, which it, he's fallen down many times mm -hmm. yeah. process, uh, at a point, so that hose has been just... Rolling around in, in, in bat, bat shit. shit. And to get out of this, he just grabs that hose, shoves it in his mouth <laughs> oh, to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> this man is going to get so many diseases yep. yeah. after he's done yep. getting out of there. Yep. I would be puking so much. Yeah. But he ends up getting out of it. I, he should have like gone full Arnold Schwarzenegger on the surface of Mars in Total Recall. Just like, ah, yeah, Because ah, <laughs> that's what I would have done if I had put a bat shit hose in, in my mouth, mouth oh, to get out of it. Yes. And but anyway, they do. I was panicking a little bit when Dina Meyer had that the one of the bigger bats wrap its wings around her face. Literally I was like, not. oh my God, is she going to get suffocated? Right, like, it seems, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I was covered. like, that was in, that was a, oh, yeah, a move yeah, I didn't yeah, expect, yeah. you know? That's, I yeah. thought they were going to kill her at yeah. that moment because we've seen other other people came out and yeah. quote unquote saved her yeah. and they killed him instead and yeah, yeah. Uh, but I thought maybe they were going to pull a psycho and get her out of the movie. Right, like, right right. Then I was oh, like, yeah. whoa, that's surprising. That was right. like, because uh, they kill everyone else in seconds, right. but not her. That was like the, what, what's, um, um, what's the, with the ferrets and the, the Beastmaster. Yeah. The, the bat people. Yes. The bat around. people. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, I was like, man, it would be interesting if like they held her wings so tight against her face. It was like Freddy Krueger coming through the wall and you could see her face through the that skin. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh, that's and the then, poster yeah. for Jeepers Creepers 2. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Does, does he do that in Jeepers Creepers too? I think he, he wraps somebody he in the wraps somebody. and crushes them. Yeah. Does I don't think he, he crushes them with his wings. Oh, I don't. It's been a while since I've seen yeah, that. I seen yeah. that, no, that but that would have been. Yeah, good. that's where I thought it was going. Like, I was like, oh yeah, god, or even just a random victim yeah. where it's just like they're screaming and they right. wrap around. And yeah, like, and they're like yeah. screaming yeah. under the. Yeah. You can see their face through that the, yeah. good. the membrane yeah. of the wing. Yeah. Visually, though, you have to blow something up. You have to blow and something up. And so Leon is there with the finger on the trigger. He's going to detonate he the is. As the soon as he got the thing. I have a problem with the, the closeness of... Now, I realize you have to have the chase because you're on a ticking clock and yep. it's they're building up the, you know, the, the in, intense... Uh, uh, the intensity of the moment and everything. But if the bats are that close to them chasing them out of this mine, they're going to escape yep. before they can blow it up. Yep. Like, yep. I just have a problem with this whole thing. Like they mm -hmm. should be farther back, something around. Also, all Lou Diamond Phillips turning around and trying to shoot bats yep. right. with a gun at certain moments. Yep. It's like, right. just keep going. Just go. Right. Just go. Yeah. But whatever. But he's a de he's a dead shot. Yeah. I think she becomes he is a, a dead shot. He was under that truck shooting yeah. him out of midair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she becomes a dead shot later on, even though there's nothing to suggest that she knows how to use a gun or has used a gun ever. Yeah, yeah. but she knows where to find one in the in the convenience store. Behind because the we counter. are in Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you trip and fall down, you'll land on a gun. Yep. So um, I'll never forget when I was in Atlanta, there was billboards for uh, America's largest gun store. Oh yeah. So like saw, advertising, like come visit America's largest gun oh, store. Yeah. And I was in Wisconsin yeah. recently. It was like. Gun and pawn. Yep, here. Yep. It's like, oh, this happens a lot, doesn't yep. it? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they are able to outrun the bats. Also, I kind of like the logic behind that. Mm -hmm. If you run fast enough, right, you can you can get right. you can get ahead of them. And then, <laughs> they're flying so fast. <laughs> yeah, I know they should not be able to outrun bats. <laughs> and Leon is able to blow the the cave entrance as they run out, and yep. boom, it collapses. Yep. And the rest of them, so there's a big fiery explosion. Yep. And the other ones are frozen. And we can call off the strike after the yep. military confirms. We got like, satellite oh. confirmation. You're fine. Yep. Right. Okay, uh, we'll call it off. Sure, fine. Mm -hmm. And we're like, woof, at least they got all those bats. Right. And they contained them. Was, we are, we're, we're in a mine in a mountain. Mm -hmm. 
and we're for sure that there is not even a little hole that any one bat could escape out of. Yep. Mm-hmm. So very sure. Movie over. But yep. it turns out there might be a hole. I remember the ending. Of, I remember this part of the movie. I liked it. I, I did too. It well it's just like, because everything's fine. Everyone's celebrating everything. And then, you know, uh, you, you move off into a, just a distant part of the same mountain and uh, the dirt and something's coming up from the ground. I expected Bat Hand yeah. to come up and be like, ah. Like Carrie, yeah. But a little bat shimmies out of the ground. Mm-hmm. He's like, ha, ah, I'm free. And what comes along? The truck. Mm-hmm. And runs its ass over. <laughs> that one bat. Such so a good audience yeah. like moment. It. Yeah, you're just like, all right. Mm-hmm. That is the moment where you're on. Just like, okay, you're f- fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll give it to you. Liked it. And everybody applauds, laughs, and heads out of the theater and into the night and goes home. Into mm-hmm. the night, <laughs> looking at the sky as they go, just in case. Yep, terrified. Terrified that it may swoop down mm-hmm. and yeah. get them so. I guess the question that you're asking yourself is, <laughs> should I watch this movie Bats? Well, bats. we, as the experts who have just now watched it, uh, are going to tell you. We are the bad you. experts. We are the, chirpto- the, mm-hmm. the corruptologists mm-hmm. of this movie. Of this movie. Yeah. But first, we're going to read some of your okay. mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I hope other people have seen this movie. I hope to God. Yeah, I feel like everyone's at least seen the cover. You know everyone, what I'm saying? Every, like, nothing, everyone knows about it. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, we're reminding you that if you want to participate on this interactive portion of our show, you can follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Night Freak Show. On X. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And on threads and Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, about tonight's movie, Bats, uh, Richard Kratzer writes in and says, I was one of two people in the theater <laughs> when this came out. Yep. Back during the days when I saw just about everything that was released, bonus points because it had Dina Meyer. I adored her then, and I still do, and I think Rico made a huge mistake going after <laughs> Carmen instead of Dizzy. Should have gone for Diz. Yep. You should have. Yep. I love Diz. Yep. There you go. Maybe in Starship Troopers 2. I never right. saw it, so I don't know. No. Oh, no, she's dead. She's dead. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a spoiler. Her last words were, you know what? I, uh, 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 it's okay. You At know why? Because I, I got you. to have yeah, you. At least yeah. I had you, yeah. Uh, Mike Miller says, I unapologetically love this movie. It's a dumb B movie about <laughs> smart bats. Yeah. It's not good, but damn if it isn't a lot of fun when you're craving some science gone wrong from a time period that didn't really produce a lot of those. Mm-hmm. There you go. Michael Whitaker says, I'm sure I'm alone in this opinion, but I kind of like this movie. It's campy and stupid in a good way. I still think it works very well as a creature feature. It reminds me a lot of something like Earth versus the Spider or mm-hmm. the Giant Gila Monster. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Gila the Monster. less successful version of Tremors. It's actually become a yearly watch around Halloween, and I'm sure you guys will rip it to shreds, the, uh, shreds though. <laughs> um, Travis Legler says this is one of those movies I remember the case sitting on the shelf at the mm-hmm. local rental yep. store, and I always wondered about it, but not <laughs> not enough to actually watch it. Okay, Freak Show, you have gotten me to watch a lot of other crazy movies, so let's see if you can sell me what, what, on this one. Was that from Legler? Yeah. yeah. You've... Okay, sir... You have watched Carnosaur. You have championed it on this. The director of this did Carnosaur yeah. 2. You are legally, morally obligated to watch yeah. that. You have to. For as much as we've heard about the other stuff, yeah. you have to, sir. And let us know what you think. There you go. Yo, Jimbo Ice says, I have this trash on VHS. I have yet to watch it. It looks terrible. But I like similar, similar era movies like Ticks and Skeeters and even Eight-Legged Freaks. Skeeters. It probably deserves Skeeters. a watch. Hey, you remember that one? Skeeters. Uh, Novato Judoka says, freaking bats. I love how. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Why did yeah. it have to be bats? Yeah. <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, we watched a movie called S- <laughs> and the boy with the Jason tattoo says, so I used to work at a video store called Hastings, oh. and I would always see the cover of this movie, and I thought it was a knockoff of Anaconda, but now listening to your podcast, I'm going to give it a try. Yeah. Oh, definitely not It could not, not be farther from Anaconda could not be in a farther. good way. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Watch it. Both movies are great at what they do. And yes. you know? he's asking who is, uh, because apparently the... Uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills mm-hmm. comes up so often on this show. He <laughs> oh, wants I talk about versus Anna. Who's, yeah. who's your favorite? Oh, my fave? Uh, I hate all of them. <laughs> that's, that's, you that's, that's my least favorite franchise. Like, there's multiple cities, and that's my least favorite city. 
Ooh, boy. What's your favorite city, Michaela? Uh, Atlanta? N- Atlanta's pretty good. Otherwise, Salt Lake City actually is really good. But who's but your wow. favorite yeah. housewife? My favorite housewife? Mm, probably Luann from New York. She was like a former countess okay. and then had a coke addiction oh. and fell off. It's a whole thing. Oh. Yeah, right. yeah. There's a, she had a <laughs> tragic rise and fall. She went to pull, uh, prison for assaulting a police officer when she was drunk. She's had a whole up and down <laughs> career. So, yeah. yeah probably Luann. All Luan, right. Yeah. Love it. I love this little mm-hmm. insight into yeah. Michaela's view. Uh, I, I mean, like, I don't tr- purposely try to bring it up, but it does intersect a lot because <laughs> right. there's so many, so like, many people from the stuff so we watch. So many washed up people. Up yeah, right, exactly. Right, exactly. So, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. um, the only other comment Mark Harrison said about the uh, the superimposed foli- foliage. Mm-hmm. That oh, yeah, that was great. Scene. Wonderful. That's no fun. Uh, it, I agree. Yeah, no fun. You're, yeah, you're cutting out on the fun. Yeah. Well, thank you all for writing in. We, we appreciate really it. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. We love it. Now we're going to go around the about. table and tell you if you should watch Bats, starting with Sean. <laughs> Sean, what did you think of Bats? Well, Sean, this is what I thought. I like this movie. Mm-hmm. I like the 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 fifties era monster movie ishness mm-hmm. of it. I like the the I the I think the effects are what brought me home on this. K and B effects did it. I love a puppet bat, and they have personality. Mm-hmm. There's stuff going on. It's not just digital bats doing shit and killing people because that could get real old and real boring very quick. Um, yeah, it's not a great movie. It's but it does a lot. Again, when you said this budget was five million for this movie, I was just like, holy shit! They did so much with that budget. As far as uh, I don't pack- know if I can believe that though. I don't know. If I can't either. Know. But I looked. I, like I, I mean, it was nineteen ninety nine. It was different it time. It seems like that would have been. Yeah, you're like, like at least seems like the 10, uh, puppet budget alone, this, yeah. maybe. But but considering that. Uh, uh, I think fantastic. Again, it is the script wise, you know, uh, it, it's not great, but this is a uh, this is a bat movie. This is about the bats. You're coming for the bats, or at least I'm coming for the bats. Um, uh, the the effects work I think is very good. Uh, the you know, um, there's the um, uh, like I said, the writing not great, but I think everyone's pretty much dedicated to this movie. Like they're in it. Mm-hmm. No one's coming through this going like I'm here for a paycheck. It doesn't feel like right. So, um, uh, I think everyone's hundred percent for this movie, um, knowing what it is, and it's just a real fun schlocky fifties monster movie, mm-hmm. and they do it really well. The mm-hmm. town blows up. There, they, you know, there's some weird scientific reason we uh, this thing is happening. There's a, a there's a mad scientist in this. Um, they could have uh, there's certain elements they could have gone. I think a little bit further, but again, we were on a five million dollar budget. But I think they do a lot that is very entertaining in this movie. Again, the puppet bats go a long way for me, and that's really the reason why I'm recommending this movie. Um, I like them. I like what they do. It, it, it's it's an hour and a half in the in the era of the two hour movie. I'll take an hour and a half bat movie out of anything. I had fun tonight. Mm-hmm. I really I really like the bats. That's all I can say. And I think you will too. I think you'll appreciate the practical magic of it all. Uh, I'll recommend bats. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah. I had a fun time with it. Uh, it was good. I, I wish Holly was here for the rest of it. Um, I, she may have gotten motion sickness from this. Yeah, probably was, based yeah. on the camera work and everything. Yeah. So she may have been like, eh, but yeah, I had a really good time with it. Uh, who knew? Who knew? Bats. <laughs> um, yeah, I will recommend it. Colin, what did you think? Well, I'm glad you like bats, Sean. I like bats. Uh, I do. You don't appre- have to. I appreciate what, uh, but I appreciate the effects work. The puppet bats were. I mean, they they're <laughs> fake as hell, but oh, I like yeah, the that, fact the, that they I gave like. them. You know, it's they do try to give the bats personality, which I think you get more um, from this era, like puppet work kind yeah. of stuff. So, okay, if you're looking for that, I would say that you know. It it has the puppet uh, monsters and uh, those are kind of cool. the the vi- the VFX is so goddamn awful mm-hmm. though. And I mean, I love this type of movie. The problem that I had with bats is that I've seen so many of this type of movie yeah. that I, the bar has been kind of set, and you know, like, because they're all low budget, you know, yeah. oh yeah, and they're all kind of working with like ridiculous concepts. Uh, and then you go like, okay, with the good ones, you know, this is how they were able to pull it off. And then the bad ones are the ones that like, I mean, the, the direction I thought was, was bad. He was, you know, an inexperienced director, it feels like, or whatever. 
uh, trying to just, you know, the coverage was weird. The lighting was weird. Mm -hmm. Everything is, uh, the lighting is weird. You're back lit with really harsh, uh, white light and it, yeah. and so everybody's faces are in shadow or like half. It's just like a very dark and unpleasant to look at movie. I was joking that at some point Lou Diamond Phillips must have looked at the dailies and gone like, okay, <laughs> do, do, do do I see? Do you see my face in the next shot? Because he also had like a hat on most of the time too. Yeah, they're so like all in shadow. shadow. They're like face. shadowed yeah. faces. Yeah, the second like, half of the movie, he's always <laughs> turning towards the sun. Yes. Yeah, like, I want to get my face in light. Right. He's like, I know what this director of photography is doing. And that and that right. weird anamorphic doing. shot we kept talking about. Yeah, that it wasn't like yeah. bad vision. I thought it was. I thought they were trying to do. If you've seen Alien Three, mm-hmm. yes, it's like uh, it, it's like shooting anamorphic with the lens off, and then like cockeyed yeah, i think they, they bend it like out the yeah, lens out from the camera it. and it and i was like okay they're using it as bat vision but then they're using it randomly yes it felt like in scenes that weren't right. bat vision so a little it was weird. disorienting so okay direction bad cinematography bad <laughs> um the writing god awful bad <laughs> i mean it's a perfunctory plot right yep. i get that but at least you can spice it up with either characters like i said the characters, all of them, like, are unmemorable uh, written. Mm-hmm. You know, I know that you got Lou Diamond Phillips in there, so you have a face, or Dina Maya, so you have a sure. face you remember, and they're doing the best they can. But, like, the lines they're saying are like, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> poor actors. Yeah. You basic know, basic at best, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought this was uh, a, a lesser... I'm not going to say it's like an incompetent movie or boring. Mm-hmm. It was just, this is not a good uh, example of this. Like, you know, and, and like I said, I do like the genre. So I like the good ones. This one wasn't one of those. <laughs> it was, uh, it was kind of painful in a lot of, in a lot of places where I just like groaning and like, uh, <laughs> and uh, this doesn't make any sense. And oh, my mm-hmm. brain's hurting. And, you know, uh, I would say you can pass on bats. Michaela, what'd you think? I think you have some valid points, Colin. It is like, indeed, it is kind of in like, uh, I've seen this done so many times, and I've seen it done better. I think that's a very valid complaint. Because, I because they made a lot of these movies, yes, before this, and we've yeah. covered a lot of them. And yeah. like, I mean, you know, it's getting compared to Kingdom of the Spiders. That is a way better movie. Like, and humanoids from the deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I, my appreciation for <laughs> appreciation for humanoids from the deep grows. Yes, by the yes, horror. exactly. Um, but I agree with Sean on like the puppet. It's, puppets go a long way for me. I also really like bats, just like in real life in general. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's cool. I and I was really holding my breath. I was worried they were going to do the fake out. If there's a second, second, like colony of bats, or like you know, my least favorite thing is there's they we, put we two bats the monster, right off the bat. But they were honest up front. <laughs> <laughs> there's two bats. Like, yeah. This is de- this, yeah. is, this is to make sure people like you will watch. The yeah, rest of the exactly. Movie. So I appreciate that. Um, I love Lou Diamond Phillips. I have a big soft spot for him because La Bamba is like a huge childhood movie of mine. Yep. So I love him. Always happy to see him. Kind of wish his career was better than it was, but whatever. Well, um, oh, there's gonna just wait. There'll be a resurgence of the Lou Diamond. I Phillips. hope so. I hope Come so. Uh, you know what? Timestamp this. We're calling it right we're now. Call, it's I'm calling coming. It now. Yeah. Wait, the first power. Remember, we used the satanic serial. I killer. need to bring that to the show <laughs> because that I'm very curious about yeah. that. Um, I yeah, it's it. I I agree with a lot of Colin's complaints about it, but I also feel like this movie met my expectations exactly where they were because they were not high to begin with, right? (laughs) So, uh, But it does feel like a movie that would be on the sci-fi channel these days. I do agree with that. Um, But I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. I was never bored. I do appreciate the expedited clip, especially because we've seen so many of these movies. I appreciate them not wasting our time with things we already know. And they're just like, you, you've you seen these before. You know how this works. Right. So we're going to give gonna, you what you know, but we're yeah. just going to fucking train yes. ride through it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to recommend it because I had a good time with it. Um, I am curious about the R-rated cut. Not curious about the sequel, but curious about yes. the R-rated cut. There's a sequel? There's a sequel there called is. Bat's Human Harvest from 2007. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. While I'm looking at the director's cut of this, I will sidetrack <laughs> <Yes>. to <laughs> see what it's about. Yes, because it's from 2007, so many okay. years later. I'll so look, look. Um, And no one notable is in it. No one no, returns. No, uh, no. Um, talks about bats it's like yeah. Backdraft 2. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dina Meyer uh, comes in for the beginning dies. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. Um, I'm going to recommend it. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. And like, man, I love that there is an endless well of creature feature movies for us. Like, 
just there's endless. so many animals out so there. So many. <laughs> yes. So many of them can kill us. Yes, yeah. and there's so many of the movies we haven't even covered, and there's still oh, I can't wait. So yeah, um, yeah, I think it's worth checking out. Like the future is bright. Yeah, and yeah, watch, watch bats. Why not? Watch you know? what? It's ninety minutes. Why not? Whatever. If you, you know? haven't seen it. We're getting yeah. the spooky season. Watch a yeah, fucking exactly. bat movie. Watch <laughs> bats. Right. All right, well, that's Bats on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin! What are we going to watch next week? Uh, it's 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 Bat uh, oh, no. Adjacent. Ooh. Oh. Uh, because okay. it's got vampires in it. All so right. uh, the second remake of this is coming soon <laughs> to Max. So we're going to watch what? the original Toby Hooper... Stephen King, Salem's Lot. Oh, awesome. We're Sean, doing it. Sean and I have never seen this, I right? I have never seen yep. this. I don't this even really know what it's about, to be honest. What, four hours long? Uh, this is like why you three. asked to do it yeah. earlier. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. A little behind the scenes for you listeners. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, can you do an hour earlier? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I can. It's but a little we didn't question it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm uh, long or not, I'm for it. Because yeah. I, I have not I've never seen, seen this. this. I yes. don't really know much about and it. And because either, there so. is a remake coming yeah. out soon. Yes. Yeah. All right. The Finger second energy. remake. Yeah. Finger on the pulse. All right. Ooh, right. we'll talk about that next week. All right. So we hope you'll join us for Salem's Lot next week. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.